Hello everyone, thank you for taking an interest in this course, uh, Popular Culture in the U.S. I'm Lance Eaton, an instructor at North Shore Community College, and I hope you find the ideas and content of this course rewarding. Popular Culture is a fun and fantastic to topic to study with avenues for anyone to explore and gain a better appreciation for it through study and discussion. So what is this course about? Uh, this course examines popular culture in its many forms in media. Students will learn to assess, explain, and analyze products of popular culture by connecting them with overall cultural values, norms, and ideologies. Issues related to popular, cu popular culture, such as consumerism, mass media, technology, and viewer participation will be explored. And students will become better, learn to become better communicators and interpreters of cultural products. This also fulfills humanities, liberal arts, and open electives at North Shore Community College. <coughs> One thing I should emphasize here is that this is a academic course. Uh, students often hear or believe that popular culture, oh, you know, this will be easy, it'll be fun, it'll be simple. Uh, I assure you that this course does have some academic rigor to it that you will have to actually think and think hard and not just offer up superficial responses. The goal here is not so much to just talk about popular culture, but to understand what's underneath popular culture. And hopefully by the end of the course you'll be able to do that. So some of the required materials from this course. Uh, first on the right there is the course textbook, which is Popular Culture in American History. This is the second edition, and you'll want to make sure that you have the second edition because the first edition has different chapters uh, and different articles entirely. So if you get the first edition, it's going to be a little bit hard to keep up. So make sure you have the second edition. It has that cover. Uh, it's by Jim Cullen, and it's from Blackwell Publishing. Course films. Uh, we do watch three films in this class. There's two that are docu there's there's two that are feature films and one that's a documentary. All three will be on reserve at the Danvers Campus Library. Uh, some of them you can find online, uh, but it might be a little bit harder. You might want to use Netflix or Amazon Prime or some other place to get a hold of these films. But they are bamboozled. Uh, but I'm a cheerleader in Tales from the Crypt Volume 1 uh, from comic books to television. And note, this is a documentary. This is not that the, the TV show Tales from the Crypt. So the course structure and requirements. Uh, these are basically the different assessments and assignments that you'll be doing throughout the semester in order to achieve uh, the grade of, of your choice. Uh, so the first the first week you have introductory material. This is to kind of get you started in an online course or specifically my online course. So there's a couple different tasks you need to do in the first week just to make sure you're caught up, just to make sure you're up to speed. So that includes taking part in an online discussion, uh, utilizing the Dropbox, uh, taking a syllabus quiz and I think one or two other items. So th there's a few small items that you really need to kind of get into the class and get, you know, get it all done, make sure you're ready to go. We do discussions each week and that's 25% of your grade. And these are going to be based around that week's readings and that week's work. There's an article analysis where the students essentially do a report, essentially a book report, but on an academic article, and that's a 1,200 word essay. There's a popular culture event paper where students get to go to a popular, cul a popular culture event of their choosing, so they can go to, you know, a Bruins game, or they can go to... Uh, in the past, I've had students go to different conventions or go to uh, a St. Patty Day, a St. Patrick, St. Patrick's Day parade, or, or things like that. So you have a lot of you can have a lot of choice and fun with that. And then you write an assessment and an evaluation of that event. And then finally, the big paper is the what is culture? What is the popular culture response? And this is a 1,500 word essay that may sound daunting, but you don't write it straight out. It's due in chunks so that you're building the paper throughout the semester. And you don't have to sit down in one night and try to write it all like sometimes happens. So how is this course organized? We have the announcements, and the announcements will be the announcements section. When you come into the course, is used to identify the start of a new module and assignments for that module. It'll also be used to post announcements about uh, return grades. And anytime I have to clarify or emphasize or just bring to your attention, I'll put in weekly wrap-ups in there. So make sure you pay attention to the announcements. I do put a lot of information up there for you to uh, go through every time you come into the course. The Lessons tab, this is where much of the course materials and interaction will take place. Uh, when you go in there, what you'll see right now is Module 1, which is the Getting Started module. This is where all that, that introductory material is. 
you'll see about the instructor. So that's background about me if you want to get to know me a little bit better and understand who your instructor is and kind of why he's so crazy and zany. Um, there's also stuff I put in there that I always encourage my students to look at or my students might find of use. Course materials, you find all the guidelines, the rubrics, video, uh, links to the videos, all of those kind of things that are related to the course. <coughs> Learning modules, this is where our weekly sessions are going to be held, or these are folders with the weekly materials, so that would include, you know, the weekly notes, uh, the weekly video, the weekly discussion, those kind of things. These, these, the learning modules are, that's where you'll find each weekly, each, each weekly assignment and, and content. Assignments. This is just a quick access folder, so if you want to go directly to an assignment that you need to submit, you can just go in there and not have to search for it through the different learning modules and stuff. And of course the questions form, so that if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, you can voice them here. Be sh also know that you can post anonymously to the questions form, so if you have a question but you don't that you want to ask but you're not sure how it's going to make you look because you're uncomfortable asking it, you can ask anonymously. Discussion forums. Um, we do have discussions. They count for 25% of their, uh, your grade, and we have them every week. I also have open discussion every week, and this is a forum so that if students want to have additional thoughts that are outside what the dis the actual discussion is, they have the opportunity to do to to have them here. And the cool thing about this is that open discussions, as I've seen in the past, are really cool, and that students bring all sorts of great information and ideas beyond what we just talked about. What's also good is that though open discussions aren't required, if you do participate in them, it can benefit your overall performance. So how to succeed in this course? I think first and foremost, as I tell my students all the time, and as you know, some of them don't realize or don't come to appreciate, is that do not underestimate the course topic. We hear popular culture, we think it's frivolous, you know, we point to, oh, reality TV, it's so pointless, that's part of popular culture, popular culture is pointless. That, that's often how the, the train of thought goes, but this, this course does require you to think hard. We have a lot of interesting content, but it requires thought, it requires analysis, it's not something you can really pretend. You know, we have a, we have a, a book in which we have some really critical essays about exploring popular culture and they require you to think and I can't emphasize that enough is that you really need to come into this class ready to learn and ready to take on challenging ideas uh, this isn't just going to be uh, as simplistic as I think a lot of people think popular culture is I always like to say remember the five rights that is get the right assignment into the right place at the right time in the right format with the right editing so this is just a way of thinking about making sure you're doing your part as a student you know we're not in the face to face class so I can't be there daily reminding you or asking you um, it's really up to you to get the work in with all assignments please please I can't emphasize this is enough as well to clearly and articulately connect your discussion to the course material one of the things with online courses that that is challenging for instructors is making sure the students are grounding and making sense of the of the material that's being offered up and so one of the things I require in all my assignments is some clear direct connection to the course material and it can't be superficial it has to be it has to show that you've actually read or processed the information and are now applying it or thinking about it or responding to it Ask questions, ask questions, ask, ask questions. I, again, I can't emphasize that one enough. I think students in online courses, they, a lot of them do really well on their own, and they can fly through the course without ever having to ask questions, but there are students who are not as familiar with online learning, or this is their first online class, and if there are things you're not understanding, please ask questions. Please let me know. Please say something because I want to make sure you succeed. And unfortunately, because we are using the online world, I can't read your body language. I don't know that you're you're confused or you're having trouble. There's there's no concerned look on your face for me to see and to respond to because we're not in a face-to-face -face class. And finally, plan for technological failure. You're taking a course online. This means you're taking responsibility for a lot of the technology and so you want to make sure you have backups. If you're using your laptop, are there other computers that you can use? Is there other places that you can get internet access from? 
keep these you know keep this in mind because you've chosen to say i believe my my technology is capable enough to get me through an online course so therefore it is your responsibility to make sure that happens however if you do have technological failure you need to contact me as soon as possible so we can figure out how to help you move forward all right so the modular checklist in every module what you're gonna find is on the left hand side here uh, each module consists of objects objectives and topics the instructor's thoughts this is just me basically talking a little bit about or giving some context to what we're covering that week an assignment listing um, and this is just kind of what you need to do each week additional readings and these would be either required readings or supplemental readings and I say readings but we do there's a lot of videos that we watch in this course um, there's a lot of audio that we listen to in this course so it's a mixture of those we have the direct discussion forum, so that's the specific discussion that we're going to have that week. And then we have the open discussion forum, and of course a Dropbox whenever an assignment is due. For each module, what I recommend students should do is come in, read the objectives and topics, read, view, and listen to the instructor's thoughts, read, view, and listen to the required material and the recommended material for that module, and then perform the required assignments for that week in a timely fashion. So this is kind of what you want to do each week as you get into a new module. All right, so getting help. If, you need, if you're having technical problems with North Shore Community College, such as you can't get into your account or you know, you, you're, there's something going wrong on that end, um, by all means, contact the North Shore Community College Help Desk, and that's helpdesk at northshore.edu. Uh, if you can't use email because you're running into problems. Uh, they also have a telephone number, 978-762-4167. And also, if you're running into, you know, if you're contacting them, them, please also just give me a heads up so I know what's going on um, so that I can better understand, you know, why you didn't drop, pass something in or something like that. If you're having problems with Angel, which is our learning management system, uh, there is the giant question. There is a question mark button on the left-hand side when you go into Angel. Uh, that's the help button that you might be able to troubleshoot some of your issues. You can also contact the Angel help desk, which is angel at northshore.edu. Uh, and finally, if you have questions about the course, you'll want to contact me, and my email is leaton at northshore.edu or leaton01 at northshore.edu. In terms of communicating with me, email is the best form of communication. I check my email way more than I probably should, but I, I'm certainly accessible via email. You're also welcome to contact me via telephone. Um, my telephone number is up there. I will most likely respond to you via email unless otherwise specified. I typically will uh, respond within 24 hours if it's Monday through Friday. I will probably respond much sooner than 24 hours, but I give myself some wiggle room. And if you send an email and I don't respond within 24 hours, please send again because there's a chance I did not receive it. On the weekends, you can expect a potential longer wait, but in reality, I still will probably respond within 24 hours. So what do you do on the first day? Um, the first week is orientation week, so you log into Angel on the first day of classes. Don't wait till Friday or Saturday. Really get into that first day because you have some things to do. Uh, you go into the, you're going to click on to lessons, then you're going to go into module one, getting started, and you're going to complete the the materials therein, which includes reading all the materials within the orientation module and the course materials folder, as well as post an introduction to the introductions discussion board, post a comment to, on the questions forum take and get 100% on the syllabus quiz and upload a document to the orientation module Dropbox according to the instructions there. So you have a couple different things. You're going to participate in a discussion so you get to know your peers. You're going to uh, make sure you get familiar. There's a lot of material in that course materials folder so you want to kind of get through all of that and be really prepared to start the course in full. So there's lots to go over. Uh, please make sure you, uh, you spend several hours that, those for that first week kind of covering the different material. And if you have any questions, please email me. Please contact me. Uh, but that's all for now, and see you online. Thank you very much for watching.